I started in this industry without knowing anything. Kind of taught myself everything I needed to know. It's a decent, it's a decent job. It can definitely be a, a career for some people. For an immigrant coming here with no friends or family that's here that can help you. It's a good job. You can start this job and make a decent amount of money if you're working hard. You know, you, the UK is different than Romania, meaning that here people really appreciate if um, you work hard, if you're honest, if you do your job, you know, they, they, they try to promote you. And, and so if you're that kind of person, this is a great place to, to come to. With a prolonged lockdown, I think more and more people lost their jobs. And that's when you really saw uh, a surge in attacks on drivers. You don't know what the customer got into. Can I have maybe knife? Can I have uh, drug? Uh, can I have anything? Sometimes I am got a customer booking from, uh, from Mihai and is coming another person. All the people was close to me, was call me and was tell me, look, uh, I think uh, you must change the job. It's not really safe. Stop. If you do that again, you get off. Okay, I've got a camera here. I don't want trouble. No, I don't want trouble. Okay. I'm not saying you're not a nice no, person. I feel I have feelings here. No, you don't. Stop me right now in the, the restaurant. Sure, I'll stop right there. But again, this, these things can easily turn on the driver. You know, that can all turn on you. Because it's in your on, it's, the honesty will be all, all on you. If you if you touch the driver or if you start hurling abuse at a uh, sorry passenger, then that can all change to you and you could be at fault. If I get reported for any reason, I could be out of a job. That's how simple it is. Like one one complaint can lead you to being jobless. So again, the job security in the, within within the in, a, in the minicab industry is insecure because you can get hurt uh, or you can lose your job in a, in a heartbeat just from one one customer complaint. Wars. 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 What are you doing? I said straight. What the fuck, bro? You're not listening. Huh? Why are you shouting? Because you're not fucking listening, bro. Why are you shouting at me? What the fuck are you going to do about what are you no, shouting at me? I'm not bro? going to do anything. What the fuck? Exactly. Like, shut the fuck up. No. I said boss. Then I said boss louder. Then no, I shouted I boss. Then you replied to you, repent, you fucking prick. No, I didn't listen. Stop to your you. fucking shit. Stop your fucking shit. Cancel my trip. End it. It's End my trip. Now. It's ending now. Okay? End it. Push you. You don't need to shout. Suck him up. You don't need to shout. Why are you shouting? I always, uh, when I had this kind of situation, I never kind of escalated. I always kept without me, within me, because we know that Uber has a rating system. If I would have gone against everybody who um, upset me, I would have lost my job way before. Uh, I, I really lost it, you know, so thanks God, I, am, I can say I'm blessed. I never really got into a, a fight, like a physical fight. All these apps, they protect too much the customer and always the driver is left out. And uh, probably the same is doing Transport for London. Everything culminated with um, what happened to Gabriel in February and that really shook the driver's community. Gabriel was stabbed and killed during the day. That just shows that it doesn't really matter the time of day. You don't really know what to do and how to protect yourself. You, you can't have a pepper spray. You can't have anything. No one wants to die on the job. I think every driver thought about his or her family. There's no excuse for the lack of security.
I was quite surprised that honestly none of the four platforms that operate in London have taken this as a sign that they need to change something. We cannot have another driver dying behind the wheel and we cannot sit by and watch this happen. I'm uh, Robert. Unfortunately, uh, a friend, a colleague, a brother, Gabriel lost his life 344 minutes without Bolt uh, doing anything. Shame on Bolt! 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 It just seems like the fact that they're not coming up with any solutions tells me and I think other drivers as well that they don't really care. They want to hush hush it, they don't want it in the press. This is going to happen again. This will, will happen again. <laughs>